What's going on there, folks? Good morning. It is Earthmaster here jumping in real quick. Monday morning, March 15th, 2021 is a date, 8.47 a.m. And quite a bit of earthquake activity occurring out there around the Kansas region over the last couple days. Seeing quite a few folks wondering what is going on out there in Kansas, beautiful state of Kansas. I love chasing out there uh, during storm season. It might be my future home one day. Who knows? Uh, it's, they get all types of weather out there. Anyway, earthquake related, quite a bit of activity happening out there uh, in the uh, Wichita area and, of course, Oklahoma as well. Some of these earthquakes are ultimately um, fracking related, but not all of them. Okay, there's definitely a natural earthquake or natural plate tectonics, I should say, at action in action out here in the Kansas region. Um, looking at the latest information here from the past week into the Wichita area, uh, right around the greater Wichita region, you can see about six earthquakes. The largest of them is a 3.9. The USGS has these in red because this is highly a uh, highly felt earthquake. Even though it didn't do damage, 3.5 out there is going to be felt by quite a few folks um, in the region there. You can see... Uh, Quite a few people there, 108 people, uh, at least in that zip code of Wichita, reporting the earthquake. Many uh, zip codes, it looks, well, yeah, it looks like many zip codes there in Wichita. So uh, the amount of people reporting this uh, earthquake was pretty high. So therefore, the uh, the red in the uh, USGS uh, for the 3.9 was, uh, uh, was, was set like that. Um, anyway, it's... It's possible, folks, always to, for this to continue. It's possible to see maybe something a little bit bigger. Um, I do want to show you guys past. Uh, well, let's go ahead and check out real quick the uh, see how many have happened here. Think about six. The depth of these earthquakes, roughly around five kilometers. And if you go to the satellite view, most of this area is, I'll show you guys real quick here, populated. I took a look around and I didn't see any type of fracking operations around here unless people are digging holes in the ground, uh, you know, five miles below, uh, making some type of tunnels in the region through the neighborhood, which I highly doubt is possible. Um, but you never know. But far as fracking operations go, none within the vicinity of these earthquakes. Um, and of course, no doubt there is some in the region out further and about, but I don't believe these are uh, fracking related the kansas uh, geological survey site shows activity long before fracking was in uh in the uh works here in kansas you can take a look at the historic activity 1867 to 1976 quite a bit of earthquake activity out there in the region um Recently, yes, it looks like it may have picked up a little bit, and I'm sure some of that is due to um, fracking operations and whatnot. Um, historic 1977 and 2012 in the black, quite a bit up here in this region of uh, north north central north central Kansas area, but right around the Wichita, Kansas area, definitely been earthquake activity out there, and a little bit bigger than what we've been seeing. It looks like a looks like potentially a well, it looks like it could could have been a four right around the uh, Wichita area uh, within that vicinity. Uh, stand by for one second here. See if I can get my brain functioning a little bit. I haven't had any caffeine yet, but that's going to change here real soon. So we got Wichita, Kansas right around this area here on this map, uh, which puts it right around here in this region of this un named map here you don't have any uh, cities counties nothing like that just the county borders but you can see a lot of recent activity out there and of course here's here's the thing you know um way back in 1867 even prior to 1976 there or around 1976 um monitor earthquakes were limited uh, due to the amount of uh, you know lack of seismograph stations and whatnot in that area and of course, earthquakes above 3.0 are usually felt in this area. Even I think 2.5 can be felt. So even though it's showing a dramatic increase in earthquake activity over the recent years, 2013, 2018, all over Kansas, um, historically, and even prior to 1867, it, it will no doubt um, there's more earthquakes here than what this map is showing. Uh, this is just looking at some of the larger ones, I believe. 
um, that have taken place historically. Uh, there is a specific fault system out there, the Humboldt Fault Zone, that runs through the uh, Kansas area, right, right smack dab through the Wichita area. You can see on the map there. We'll go back here to this map. See Wichita right around this region where there's where this earthquake activity is taking place. Uh, well, a little bit over halfway on this side, um, right within that vicinity there, the Humboldt Fault Zone is an area um, that's natural occurring, right, when it comes to earthquake activity and plate tectonics. Um, you look at the bigger picture here, we have seen quite a bit of movement throughout the North American continent area. This is 2.5 and above over the last week. Uh, Oklahoma, Texas area, even some uh, earthquakes out here along the uh, Appalachian Mountains there. And of course, all through the Inner Mountain West there. So th I believe this is natural occurring earthquakes. Um, you know, kind of uh, North American plates moving a little bit. You know, it's uh, it's it's been under quite a bit of pressure, no doubt, from the from uh, all the movement uh, over the past week or so over in the uh, over in the Western Pacific. Even though the plates are are moving their separate own direction. Um, things can increase pressure along the inner uh, regions here of the North American plate here in the United States, uh, especially with the uh, North American craton there kind of, uh, I don't want to go back into all of that right now, but um, this is purely, I believe, um, just plate tectonics here in action. And there's actually quite a bit of information there on their website. Uh, the uh, uh, Kansas Geological Survey shows all of that um and it does talk a little bit about um uh, the earthquake information this was back in looks like fall 2001 um let's see largest recorded kansas earthquake hit the manhattan area 1867 uh estimated magnitude 5.5 so yeah, there's 3.9s that are kicking off you can uh, definitely get some bigger ones like i was talking about um Uh, moderate to large earthquakes in east central Kansas is possible. So, yeah, you know, it's just uh, check check out this site. This one's actually pretty good. Um, I'll leave this link. I'll copy and leave this link um, in the upload video. But uh, I just kind of wanted to get out a little information out there on the uh, Kansas earthquakes that are taking place out there. I don't believe they're uh, fracking related at all, even though I do mention that uh, quite a bit here on this channel. And I do see fracking earthquakes out there all the time in Oklahoma and Kansas. This activity up here, uh, definitely purely plate tectonics right around the Wichita area. And of course, highly populated region. So a lot of people there wondering what's going on in Kansas area. Just normal uh, movement along that Humboldt fault system there that stretches through the uh, uh, eastern part, uh, central eastern part there of the uh, Kansas area, going pretty much right through the Wichita region. So um, other than that, as uh, far as normal earthquake activity goes, folks, around the globe, uh, let's see what we got out here. Continued movement off to the uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, down there through New Zealand as well. I'm going to jump off here, and uh, uh, you guys have a good day.